What's up, friends? It's Jake, the Ticket Leprechaun, back with another flipping through video. Uh, I don't know if anybody else is enjoying these, but I enjoy them, and that's what I'm doing them for, right? Uh, so I'm going to do another one. Uh, the Bible verse that I have to share today relates to the package. So I'll read the Bible verse and then explain how it relates to the package. It comes from Ecclesiastes 4, 9 and 10. It says, two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. And what that is talking about is friendship. Uh, that it is a good thing to have someone that can help you uh, when you fall down. Uh, and to you know, feel bad for anyone that doesn't have a friend. Uh, there's another Bible verse, not directly quoting it, but it says there's a friend that sticks closer than a brother, and that is that is Jesus. Uh, and how that relates to this package is I got a trade from a friend. Uh, his name is Will. I won't share his last name on here, uh, but he sent me some cards uh, from my collection, and I've got some that come in his way soon. So in his honor, uh, I'm going to do a flipping through. Now, he sent me some some 64 tops. So you guys are about to see these, uh, but I'm going to flip through my 64 top set. So let's check it out. All right, some quick facts about my 1964 top set. I have 130 of the 587 cards, which is good for 22.1% of the set. Uh, now, I am not very far along in this set, but I do have eight Hall of Famers already. Uh, there is 38 in this set, and I'll try and point them out along the way. Uh, so let's flip through here. Uh, we've already come to the, the first page where we're going to put in one of the cards that Will sent me. And then on uh, a couple pages later here, we're going to have our first Hall of Famer. And that's none other than Lou Brock when he was still a member of the Cubs before he was traded to the Cardinals, who he more famously played for. Next up, here's one of the cool dual player cards from this set. Uh, Friendly Foes with Leon Wagner and Hall of Famer Willie McCovey. Now, this set, 64 tops, uh, isn't, you know, super unique by any means as far as design, but it's a nice, clean design. You get some, uh, you know, action uh, and posed type shots. Uh, but the, the photography's full. You got a team name up top that looks really good as we put in another one of the cards from Will. Uh, like I was saying, photography that looks good of vintage cards. And, I mean, you can't go wrong with vintage, right? Let's keep flipping through here. Here's a dual card of two Hall of Famers, All-Star Vets, uh, Nellie Fox and Harmon Killebrew. Uh, Killebrew being one of my favorite players. Bill Bruton, no longer on the Braves, but was a 57 World Series Braves champion, along with Bob Bull, who also had left the Braves uh, by the time these 1964 tops came out. And I'll flip through these pretty quickly, as a lot of these pages are half empty, but there's Hall of Famer Don Drysdale. One of the few Drysdales that I actually have so far. Danny Murtaugh. I'm only going to point him out because I actually have a baseball signed by him because he managed in Gastonia when they were the Gastonia Pirates back in the day. Had a, a fan give me that. Future Hall of Fame manager Dick Williams there. There aren't a ton of, of big cards in 64 as far as rookies go. Not a rookie, but there is Hall of Famer Billy Williams. With another page followed up with another Hall of Famer in Sox Sockers with Carl Yastrzemski. Uh, not a not a lot of big Hall of Famers in 64 tops. No no big ones that really jump out. Uh, but that's what kind of makes it an easier set. Uh, the high numbers also aren't that difficult in comparison to a lot of other 60s sets. Namely 66 and 67. Those high numbers are very tough. As we come upon Hall of Famer Jim Bunning. Uh, as you'll see... There's Robin Roberts, also a Hall of Famer, down here in the corner. I just have some cards, you know, spread out throughout the pages. Uh, no huge concentration on low numbers, high numbers, anything like that. 
Hall of Famer Willie Stargell. And the rest of the way, I believe, as you can see, are just some random commons until we get back here to some higher number cards. When we are going to come up on the one big Hall of Fame rookie, it's none other than Phil Negro. And that's where we're going to end, guys. So I hope you enjoyed flipping through my 1964 top set with me. Until next time, God bless.